Hey guys, 83Y here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you the basics of script. It is really important you watch through the whole video and not just skip ahead. If you have any problems throughout the tutorial or just in general about script, you can either comment below or join my Discord and ask me questions there. First of all, what is script? Script is a plugin for your Spigot Minecraft server. Script is kind of like coding plugins in Java, but a mini version of Java. Let me elaborate. In a nutshell, script converts Java into American English so that anyone can understand how to start coding. There are six categories for script, but as we're just going over the basics in this video, you'll only need to know about three of the following categories. Events, conditions, and effects. Events are actions that happen in game. For example, mining a block or placing a block. Conditions are a criteria that must be met for your effect or code to be run. For example, if the block you mined were to be dirt, or if the player were to be holding a certain item. Effects are the outcomes of an event happening when the conditions are met. As you can see here, the two effects are to cancel the dirt from dropping and then dropping a diamond. Also, just a quick mention, you can have multiple conditions and effects, or only one if you want to, but you can only have one event. If you're working on a server that doesn't have a list of plugins that you can't install from, then I will show you how to install script onto your external server. To install script, simply head to this link in the description and click script.jar. It may ask you if you want to keep script and that the file may harm your computer, just click keep. I can promise you that script is not a virus in any shape or form. Go to wherever your server is located, then just drop scripts into the plugins folder. If you're making a server on Minehut, you're going to want to click the plugins tab, search your script and then click install plugin. And if you'd like to install additional script plugins to give you more script features, then I'd recommend installing the following script add-ons. Skelet, SKQuery, SKRayful, and Tusk. Once you've installed script, head to your service file manager and go into your plugins folder. Then go into the script folder and then the scripts folder. Once located in the scripts folder, you're going to want to create a script file. To do this, click create a new file and then type whatever name you want. You want to make sure that there is no spaces and there ends with .sk to make it a script file. For the purpose of the tutorial, I will be using Minehut's built-in text editor as that is what you'll most likely be using. However, if you want to do more advanced or complicated scripts, I'd recommend using Visual Studio Code or Notepad++. I'm going to show you how to do the following examples I showed at the beginning of the video, but go more in depth. But before I do that, I want to talk to you about ScriptHub and how we'll be using it as we're writing our code. First of all, what is ScriptHub? ScriptHub gives you all the events, conditions, and effects that Script and the other Script add-ons have to offer. And much, much more, there are also other Script documentations such as Script Documentation and SKUnity. Personally, I prefer ScriptHub. As you can see here, if you type up onbreak on ScriptHub, you can see the event and their uses to plug in Script. You can also see some examples of how the event may be used, however this will not be the same case for other events, conditions and effects. So the first thing you are going to want to type is the event, which is onbreak. Make sure to end an event off with a colon, otherwise your script will give you an error message and the code below it will not work. Also, if you mistype or misspell anything in your code, it will also give you an error message. So make sure that everything is spelt correctly in American English. Then we want to get a new line by pressing enter and then press tab if the line before ends with a colon. This is called indenting your code. You are going to need to indent your code, otherwise it will not work and it will give you an error message. Now we are going to write our first condition. We are going to check if the player is holding a stone shovel. Remember to end it off with a colon. Most conditions end with a colon. Then you're going to want to indent your code again then type another condition, which is if event block is dirt, and then one last final time, end it off with a colon. The event block is the block that we're breaking. So if the event block were to be dirt, run the indented code beneath. Now we're going to move on to effects. We are going to indent and then cancel the drops. And then we're going to indent one last time and drop one diamond. Save the script and then go back in game and reload it by typing script with a K, reload and in the file that you created earlier with the same name. For example, mine is called tutorial. Remember to join my discord server or comment below if you're stuck or have any script related questions.